Well, Ramsey County experiencing a significant decline in carjackings and auto thefts with law enforcement crediting a dedicated enforcement effort. Well, now the state is rewarding the success by not only renewing it, but increasing special grants allocated to fight the problem. Fox Science Courtney Godfrey joining us now. And Courtney, the program Ramsey County has developed involves, as I understand it, various stakeholders. Yeah, that's right, Randy. It's the county prosecutor, the sheriff's office, uh, community advocates, all working together to not only enforce the law and seek justice, but go to the root of the problem and try and reform the mostly teen offenders who are committing these crimes. Two years ago, Kyle Williams was a patrol deputy. Now he leads a unit dedicated to busting up the biggest trend in juvenile crime, carjackings and auto theft. We couldn't possibly have enough resources as far as bodies goes to effectively combat this issue. The unit, which launched in 2021, now consists of six full-time investigators who proactively go out and try and take down those behind the brazen crimes. Working alongside the Ramsey County Attorney's Office and the African American Leadership Council to not only prosecute offenders, but offer them a chance at reform. As aggressively as we're fighting this from a law enforcement perspective, we're also flipping that side of the coin and fighting it from the other angle too. After they're arrested, Tyrone Terrell and three dedicated navigators establish contact with the offender's family, do multiple check-ins a week, and even visit the mostly 12 to 18-year-olds behind bars. Our sole purpose is to try and keep them from coming long-time, lifetime criminals. So All of these components made possible thanks to a state grant. Available. With St. Paul numbers showing a drop in both auto thefts and carjackings year to date, the state taking notice, announcing that it will not only be renewing the grant money, but increasing it by 50% over the next two years. You know, there's still time. When you're 14, 15, you still have a chance. And so it's our right our responsibility to give them that chance and while not all will take the lifeline the success stories make it worth it it's those little victories that really provide you know some a sense of accomplishment now many other metro departments receive money through this same grant program but i'm told none have created a specialized unit like this one in ramsey county randy all right thank you it was a